Good evening, Cecilia. How are you? Good evening. Hi, thank you. And you? Fine. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Everything ready. Welcome okay. aboard. Let's begin. Okay. Good evening. This is the Intermediate 2, Class 4. Today is June the 2nd, 2022. The topic is Expressing Purpose. In the agenda, we have number one, neighbors. Number two, expressing purpose with infinitives and gerbs. Syllables, syllable stress and dialogue. Can I borrow your cell phone? Can I borrow your cell phone? What is the meaning of borrow? Uh, borrow is like, you borrow, you take, and you lend, you give. Uh, idea. It's your computer and I want to use it. I ask you, uh, may I borrow your computer? Uh, may I use your computer? But okay. borrow, yeah, I... borrow gives the idea that I will take the computer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, Basically, that it's it. about it's about computer or cellular phone or iPad. Or no, no, it's like about using something that is not yours. Uh, like um, your car, for example. May I use your car? May I borrow your car? Even though uh, uh, very few people can ask me, may I borrow your car? And very few, I mean, may, no, I would say a lot of people may ask, may I borrow your car? But very few people get the answer, yes, you may. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we say, may I borrow your car? What are you going to do? I need to go to this place. Um, I will take. <laughs> I will take. <laughs> yeah. Better. Yes, mm -hmm. I better not uh, run the risk of someone crashing it, okay? So, the objectives, okay, in the agenda we say we have this now. The objectives are to discuss relationships, neighbors, okay? The relationship with our neighbors. To express purpose with infinitives or germs. All right, number one. neighbors to discuss relationships. Okay, yesterday we read an article about the, com about the complaints neighbors usually have, right, or make. So here we're going to be checking the vocabulary. Okay, what's resentment? 
we have to match the meanings, I mean, the words and their meaning. Resentment. What do you think is resentment? I think it's a B. It's a under the grounds over time. Uh -huh, exactly. Okay. And over here, we have to be careful with the with two words that people confuse. <clears throat> Recent. Okay. And. Uh, Recent. There's a difference between recent and recent. recent. This is recent, happening a very short time ago, a very short time in the past. But recent is to have a feeling a, maybe an angry feeling, yes, about someone because someone didn't, didn't lend you, didn't invite you to a party, didn't do something for you, okay? Like uh, someone says, you invited Fulanito, but you didn't invite me. What does Fulanito have that I don't have that you invited him and not me? So that is, a, you, the person resents not being invited. So I'm going to put a circle where the pronunciation is with the stress. Resent. And the recent. Recent. Recent, recent, recent. Recent, recent. Uh -huh. And uh, this has the same pronunciation as another word. Recent, that means sent again. When you send uh, something and then you send it again, that is resent. All right, now let's continue. Deliberately. Deliberately is what? Literally. On purpose, right? On purpose. Exactly. On purpose. On purpose. Irritate, what is irritate? Um, literal F, bother or annoy? Bother or annoy, exactly. Bother or annoy. annoy. Irritate. Measure. Measure. What's measure? A uh, step taken in order to achieve something. Excellent. Yes, Miguelito, that's correct. Yes. We're going to take measures. Some people say, if you don't stop parking your car in my driveway, we're going to start taking measures. They say, uh huh. What do you mean? Okay, manner, what's a manner? It's a, a way of behavior. Exactly, a way of behavior. And the last one, resolve. And a problem. And a problem. <laughs> and a problem, right, or difficult. 
okay. A different color. One color that we don't have. I don't think there is a color that we don't have. Maybe this color. Brown? Yeah, but this color is not so good. You're right, maybe brown. Uh, I don't have brown, but this is close to brown. Okay. Excellent. So this is the idea. Now we're going to go to the to the groups and we're going to discuss these questions. It says, check the question that the article answers, then find the sentences in the article that support your answers. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to discuss this as a per at a personal level. Why don't many people know their neighbors? Why do we become angry at neighbors? What are some extreme measures you can take to solve a problem? How should you approach a neighbor about a problem? What can you do when discussion doesn't work? Okay, those are the five questions that you need to discuss with your partner. So I'm going to uh, open the groups. So I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to start the groups. First, let's see how many people there are. Well, so far there are 13 people. Thirteen, four groups. Mm, I'm more inclined for three groups. Three groups. One, two, three. Five, five, and four. Yeah, exactly. We have. It's funny that we were thirteen, but that included me probably. <laughs> Uh, why four, four, four? I saw that they were 13, maybe in, uh, included me, 13. All right, so the groups are opening. Let's join. In group one, there is only one person. Okay, Lisette and Monica, you may join. Just click on the button that says join. Okay. Last day of the week. Yeah, this is Page four, right? Page four. One person may ask the questions and the other responds. You may share screen, you have permission.
Thank you, Gabriela. No problem. Okay, the number one, I think to avoid problems, maybe, or because they, there is no truth. You may continue discussing the questions. Okay. Uh, in my neighborhood, neighbor in my neighbor, uh, I don't know then because this street. Is along uh, here. There are five houses, but just my house. There are person. The another house don't doesn't need person because they are living in the in the USA right now. So they coming he coming here from there just in. Christmas and when they come in I, I I go to my grandmother and she lives in another in another town so there is no time to share uh, experience or conversation with them that's good and who else? <laughs> okay. We can see that there can be a, a lot of reasons for the people who don't know their neighbors. So. Oh, uh, the number two, why do you become angry at neighbors? <laughs> uh, I think the thing make me more angry with my neighbor is the they had dogs and let it out to the poop and sometimes the dogs uh, let they put in front of my my house, and that really make me angry because I don't have dogs, and when I have had it a lot of times ago, I clean up all all the mess that my dog do did. <laughs> so that's uh, and they usually. And hear music um, very loud. That's uh, the only two things that make me angry with them. <laughs> yes, that's very annoying. Do, did you tell to them about that? No, really. Not really because um, with the dog things, uh, it's a, a elderly people. Uh, so 
I don't want to discuss with an, with an elder. So, no, so I, I say, oh, another guy. Okay, again. And sometimes uh, I stand up in front of my house uh, when I see that the dog is out. So, when the dog is coming, I say, shoo, shoo, shoo. <laughs> <laughs> Go to another, <laughs> to another place. <laughs> so I, <laughs> that's what I do. Because I tell you, it's, it's a, an elderly. Uh, it's a, <laughs> and for the music, <laughs> so it's, a, it's like approach. What is approach? Approach. approach. Yes. If you approach. say, how should you approach a neighbor? How can you, uh, let's say, talk to a, a neighbor? Okay. What is the way to? to draw near, to come near the neighbor. Okay. Uh, the approach. To approach is to be, to come near someone or near something. Okay. Hold the point. Who else want to give the their opinion about the number three question? ¿Qué dicen esas? What are some extreme? ¿Cuáles son las medidas que tomarías? O, no, que puedes sí. tomar. Para resolver un problema. You are the only We are the only male here. So, we are democratic and say male Go first. Yes. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> so go ahead, Julio. No, the lady first. You are going no, no, to no. think that I am a machista. <laughs> <laughs> we make a vote. It does no machista. We make a vote. We vote that you go first. <laughs> okay. You go first, Julio. <laughs> You are kidding me, but it's okay. <laughs> uh, here in my neighbor, when I was a child, uh, one neighbor uh, put away the trust mm -hmm. on the street. But when the dogs to an, of another street, uh, was coming on my block uh, they regaban la basura I don't know what to say uh, big mess they uh, spread they spread or yes uh -huh, the, they, the they spread uh -huh. oh. they spread the they spread the garbage all over uh, the or they uh, spread they spread they spread the garbage all over they over the garden. Okay. S P S P R E A D. Spread. 
spread. Spread. Spread the garbage over the block. Okay, uh, they spread the garbage over the block and the neighbor didn't do anything to clean up. So they, they wait to the barrendero how do you say? I don't know. The person in charge of clean. The person in charge of clean the blocks uh, made it because they were uh, very irresponsible. Responsible. Responsible. Yeah. That's right. With the new update, Zoom has a new frame, a different frame <laughs> around the screen. All right, that's good. Pretty cool. Okay, let's see. Exercise two. The purpose is to express purpose, right? So let's see over here. In English, both germs and infinitives can be used to talk about the reason why we use or do something. Let's begin with an example. This is a hairdryer. There are two ways you can talk about the purpose of the hairdryer. Compare these two sentences. A hairdryer is for drying hair. I use a hairdryer to dry my hair. So the two, can you see the difference between the two sentences about? What's the general use of a hair dryer? Drying hair. So a hair dryer is for drying hair. A car is for transportation, right? So if you use a verb, a, a car is for driving it to work <laughs> as an example okay and you say i use my car to go to work right now let's see we have germs and we have infinitives okay who like to read this one mm -hmm. maybe eugenia yes <laughs> okay thank I you thank you Okay, gerunds. A gerund is a verb that acts like a noun to form a gerund, add ing, ing to the end of the verb. To describe the purpose of something used for plus gerund. What, what is a high dryer for? A high dryer is for drying hair. What is this program for? This computer program is for editing videos. Notice that in the above sentence, the team being described is the subject of the sentence. More examples sentence, my lips are for kissing, be quiet, a library is for studying, not for socializing. I don't know. Okay, excellent, thank you. Yes, it's for studying, not for socializing. Okay, what about infinitives? Who would like to read that one? One volunteer? Me. Thank you, uh, Julio. Julio Cesar, okay, yes. Infinitive. An infinitive is the two plus verb form to describe the purpose of someone. Use an infinitive. Uh, what do you use a hair drive? Dryer for 
I use a hair dryer to dry my hair. Why did you go to the store? I went to this to the store to buy some milk. Why are you going to Toronto? I'm going to Toronto to learn English. More simple sentence. I use my lips to kiss. Be quiet. I come to the library to study, not to socialize. Excellent. Thank you very much. Now, some examples. Who would like to read the example? Who would like to read the four examples that we have? Me, teacher. Thank you, Bane. Please go ahead. I use my computer to send uh, emails. Computers are often used to pay bills. I use my computer for sending emails. Computers are often used for paying bills. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. What do you know about this technology? Complete the phrases in column A with information from column B. Then compare with a partner. More than one answer is possible. You see there are many of these options, okay? So the examples are here. Satellites are used to study the world's weather. Satellites are used for studying the world's weather, okay? You may use either form. Okay, so you can match. Um, satellites are used and you connect it here. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else are satellites used for? To transmit telephone calls. Yes, to transmit telephone calls. Yes, it's another one. Excellent. What else? Transmit television programs. To transmit television programs. Excellent. All right, excellent. Now, robots are sometimes used to do what? To perform dangerous tasks. Correct. To transform the, I mean, to, uh, to perform, perform. perform dangerous tasks. Okay, excellent. What else? Something else that they are used for? Only, right? Only that. Because Robocop is used to identify criminals. <laughs> Robocop. <laughs> okay. So you can use a cell phone, what? And the text message. Text messages. Yes. To send the text messages. What else? Is in something else? Make travel reservation. To make travel reservations, of course. Anything else? Only, right? What about to transmit telephone calls? To make telephone calls, right? Okay, what about the next one? People use uh, this, the internet to do what? A lot of things, for example, make our reservation. Okay, yes, yeah. correct. To make travel reservations. Read the, read the latest weather report. Okay, yes. To read the latest weather report. What else? Historian encyclopedia. 
is to store an encyclopedia. Yes, it's true. And you can access it from home. Uh -huh. DNA fingerprinting is used for what? Identify uh, criminals. To identify criminals. To identify criminals. Okay. CD-ROMs are used? To store an encyclopedia. To store an encyclopedia. Yes, that's true. Mm -hmm. What else? Only that, right? Okay, so how do we make the sentences? Robots are sometimes used to perform dangerous tasks. Uh, you can use a cell phone to send uh, text messages. You can use a cell phone to make travel reservations. Okay, volunteers to make sentences. Okay. Um, satellites are used to transmit telephone calls. Satellites are used for transmitting telephone calls. Excellent. Wonderful. Yes. Okay. Somebody else, maybe Miguelito. Uh, robots are used to perform dangerous tasks. Exactly. Uh, okay. robot, robots are used for performing dangerous tasks. Exactly. Very good. Yes. Thank you. Somebody else? Yes, by name. Don't be afraid, by name. You can do it. My microphone was okay. Yes, Ceci, tell us. People use the internet to for shopping online. Shopping for shopping online. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. What else? Yeah. To watch interesting videos. Watch YouTube videos. Okay. Yes. And Eugenia uses and uses a computer to watch programs on Netflix. Uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> watching pro one, programs uh, um, to read to yes mm. to watch anime FLV one. <laughs> anime. Yes, to watch anime. <laughs> yes. Hey, how you how did you know? <laughs> I observe. <laughs> I observe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so to watch uh, Attack on Titan. <laughs> Attack on Titan. Okay. That's good. Yeah, it's a good one. Doctor Stone. <laughs> ah, yes, it's true. Okay. Exactly. Somebody else. Okay. We're going to change this one and uh, move to the next topic. Okay. 
We're going to change from technology to parts of the body. Okay, um, you're going to be working on this in the groups. You're going to have five minutes to match and say, uh, my hands are for grabbing things. Teacher, what is grabbing? Grabbing things, okay? Grabbing, grabbing things. My arm, my arms are for hug, oh. for hugging you. <sighs> yes, very romantic. <laughs> so match in these ones. My hands, I use my hands to grab things. Grab. Okay, so you're going to be making sentences in both cases. So let's go to the groups. The groups are opening. Tiene la captura para que la comparta, por favor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The sentences are these are in disorder, so you have to find them. Hands grabbing things, mouth eating, eyes what watching TV. Arms, hugging, legs, running, etc. Okay. Okay. Uh, hoeing or pointing at things. My dear ones, these are in disorder, right? Hands, grabbing, mouth, eating. Eyes watching TV, arms hugging, legs <clears throat> running, brain thinking, etc. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. My fingers are. Pointing things. Pointing at things. Point at. Thing. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. My nose is uh, smelling. My nose. My. Uh, listen to music. It's hears. Yeah. Uh, my songs is a. Uh, For licking. Smelling. The nose for smelling and the tongue for licking. Okay, licking. Look, the, the child. The child is licking on the ice cream. Okay. And my kids are listening to music. Uh-huh. And my hands uses, uh, I use my... Uh, Thinking, yes, cosas, thinking. Um, it's a pointing at things. I think, right? what? My finger, my finger are for pointing at things. So okay. like 
This okay. is pointing. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I use my finger. Uh, um, point a thing. Point a thing, right? To point. To point a thing. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Julio? Uh, yes. Uh, my nose. Nose. My nose is for smelling. I use my nose to smell. Okay. My in in the next one, my tongue is for licking. I use yeah. my tongue to lick on the ice cream. And the last one, my ears I for are for mm, listen listening to music. <laughs> I use my ears to listen to music. Teacher, I got a question. Uh, Lick is la mer. Yes. yes. Look, look at the picture of the child. The child is licking on the ice cream. Uh -huh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. We finish. <laughs> finish, right? Yes. Excellent. Let's go. Let's go back to the main group. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Three, three more people and then right now we are nine, okay? Three more people and we continue. One more. Okay, we are only 11 right now. Okay, 12. Let's see, syllable stress. The purpose is to practice pronunciation. Pronunciation, syllable stress. Satellite. So we're going to, I'm going to mark uh, where the stress is. Satellite. Satellite. Internet. Satellite. Internet. Internet. Invention. Internet. Uh -huh. Invention. 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 Uh huh. CD ROM. CD ROM. CD ROM. CD ROM. Teacher, uh, uh, sorry about interrupt you, but I have a question. Tell me, Mary. Tell me. Uh, the the syllable stress is like a. Uh, the, the tilde in Spanish, uh, where the tilde is in, in, in Spanish, oh. uh, stress is, is like a, la, la, el acento, la tilde en el, en, en el español, es, es similar. Okay. Es similar. In Spanish, we call it tilde, the one that, uh, tilde diacritica, tilde, well, tilde, we say the one that we write. Okay. In English, it's called stress mark, stress mark. And uh, over here, in, well, in English, there is no, there are no stress marks. We don't put any, mm -hmm. no, there is no stress mark in English. Even the words that are in Spanish that are used in English go without a stress, right? Okay, so that okay. But it's similar, right? Yeah, actually, this is it's like 
tonic stress. It's like a big force in that syllable. Yes. Right? Uh -huh. We stress. We stress mm -hmm. that syllable. Mm -hmm. That's why it's syllable stress. Okay, maybe okay. you remember like when you have exams, when you have uh, a lot of work, what, what do you feel? A lot of pressure on your yeah. shoulders, right? Very so, okay, that pressure is the one that we place on the syllable. Mm -hmm. It's stress. So CD-ROM photograph. Photograph. In assignment. 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 Assign. Assignment. Yes, computer. 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 Engineer. 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 Entertain. Entertain. Yes. Repeat. Repeat, Repeat. please, teacher. Entertain. So we have satellite, internet. Satellite. Satellite, internet, invention. Satellite, internet, intention. CD -ROM. Invention. Yeah. CD ROM. CD ROM. Autograph. Autograph. Assignment. Assignment. Photograph. Yes. Assignment. Assignment. Computer. Computer. Entertainer. 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 Computer. Computer. Engineer. Entertain. Computer. The Engineer. Without T. Entertain. Entertain. Yeah, the T is, you can say entertain if you want, but normally people say entertain. Entertain. Doesn't sound. Okay. Now, where do these words have the stress? Predict. This in lang with language. Uh -huh, in the first right, right, first syllable, languages. Languages. Language. Languages. And in the next one. Understand. <laughs> Understand. And understand. understand. I understand and understand. I understand, right? And this one? Telephone. Telephone, yes. Telephone. Telephone. Let's see. And this yes. one? Telephone. Transmission. 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 No transmission. Okay, what about this one? Robotics. 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 And this one? VCR. <laughs> okay. B. If we say VCR, VCR. VCR. VCR is VCR. 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 So it's in the in the B. VCR. 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 Languages. Understand. Telephone. Translation, robotics, and VCR. Robotics, VCR. Yeah. VCR. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Now let's move on to the last exercise. Ceci, do you have a question? No, it's okay. All right, okay. let's move to the last one. It says, can I borrow your cell phone? The purpose is to discuss making a phone call. <clears throat> okay, listen and practice. Can I borrow your cell phone to call my boss? I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? 
First of all, be sure to turn it on and don't forget to dial the area code. Okay, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh, good, it's ringing. Try not to get too excited. You'll probably get his voicemail. You're right, it's a recording. Make sure to hit the end button or else you leave our conversation on this voice call, no, voicemail. Make sure to hit the end button or else you leave our conversation on his voicemail. Voicemail. Mm -hmm. So, can I borrow your phone to call my boss? I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on and don't forget to dial the area code. Okay, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh, good, it's ringing. Try not to get too excited. You'll probably get his voicemail. You're right, it's a recording. Make sure to hit the end button or else you leave our conversation on his voicemail. Okay, we're going to go to the groups and you're going to practice the conversation there. Okay, so let's go and practice. Groups are opening. Sí, lo siento. Se quitó bien rápido. <laughs> Oh, thank, thank you. you. Okay. Thank you. Let's start. I am Jenny. Okay, I am Richard. Okay. Can you call, to call, to call my boss? I can't believe it. You still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Now. What do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on and don't forget to deal the area code. Okay, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh, good. It's but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh, good. It is ringing. Try not to get too excited. You'll probably mm -hmm. get this voicemail. You're right. It is recording. Make sure to hit the end button or else you leave our conversation on his voicemail. Yes. Okay. Applaud Eric, yourself. You ready? Next. Eric, Hello. You ready? Uh, I don't see the letter. Uh, Jenny. Uh, I, I, I. <laughs> Correct. I see this. <laughs> uh, okay. Jenny. Uh, can I borrow you call, to call my boss? I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Can. No. What do you I need to do? 
first of all, uh, be sure to turn it on and don't forget to dial the area code. Okay, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh, good. It's raining. It's raining. Try not to Ringing. get too excited. Ringing. Thank try, you. Try not to get too excited. He'll probably get his voice mail. Your eye is a recording. Make sure to hit in the end button or else you'll leave your conversation with his voice mail. Okay. Okay. Now, Angie, you and me, I'm gonna be Jenny this time. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. Uh, let me see. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on and don't forget to dial the area code. Okay, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. <laughs> oh, good. It's ringing. Try not to get too excited. You'll probably get his voicemail. You're right. It's a recording. Make sure to hit the end button or else you'll leave our conversation on his voicemail. Okay, that's good. So, Maria and Julio? I very <laughs> like this conversation. <laughs> me, 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 Richard. <laughs> it's very funny. I'm a woman. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? Fear us all. Be sure to turn it on. And don't forget to deal the article. OK. I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh, good. It's ringing. Try not to get too excited. You will probably get his voicemail. You are right. It's a recording. Make sure to hit the end button or else you will leave our, our conversation on his voicemail. It's genuine. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for attending tonight. We're going to stop here. I'll be seeing you on Monday, right? See you on Monday. Tomorrow, no class, okay? Have a nice okay. weekend. Please okay. do, do the homework. See you Monday. See you Monday. Bye-bye. See you on Monday. See you on Monday. Take care. Be good.